hi everybody welcome back to another video hope you're doing really well so as the title suggests it is time for a new york haul so if you're a new viewer this might be the first video that you've clicked on of mine or in case you didn't know um we recently went to new york for um four days it was amazing best city on earth that i've been to so far absolutely loved it so obviously while we were there um it wasn't there wasn't a lot of shopping done um it was gonna always mostly be a sightseeing um holiday obviously um it was my first time there um i went with my daughter anastasia who had been twice previously and my son atticus it was his first time also so it was mostly a um sightseeing holiday but of course some shopping was done in between the sightseeing not loads not loads by any means but a few bits so i thought i would put it all into a haul do you know what this stuff has been sitting there we've been back now we've been back almost a week it will be a week tomorrow and it's all been in a pile in the office and it's like i've been wanting to use some of it and it's like no no you've got the haul to do got the haul to do so when i have done this haul i can start using the stuff that i have bought so i can't wait so i hope you enjoy what um what i've purchased over in new york um there's the classic bath and body works there's some um, sephora um i went to urban outfitters target and of course the classic new york gift shop um shall we start with that we'll start with the classic new york gift shop so this was a really great there was a lot of souvenir gift shops there um but this one in particular was literally the best one that i that i've seen there it was it was really big and everything that you could think of that would have new york on it they had and a lot of the stuff they had in yet yeah there's there's tacky stuff we all know that but there there was also a lot of nice stuff also um so this particular one um i love new york gifts um it, looking at the bag it looks like they're all over so you've got 1375 broadway 110 greenwich street 150 broadway yeah they're literally they're all over New York. It was full of mugs, full of New York mugs. As you know, if you're a long-term viewer of mine, I love mugs. Um, but I certainly, I didn't want anything, um, I didn't want a tacky mug. I wanted a mug that I would, would remind me of New York, but also something nice as well. And I um, saw this and I really liked this one. So it's very simple as you can see and it says on the front the big apple new york city united states established 1625 i think that says on there nice and simple and what i really love about it so if i'm just using it at home obviously i'll have it like that and then which i do often do want to take a coffee or a tea out with me it's got the lid also so i really liked that i believe they've done it in black also um but i thought that was very tasteful a nice little souvenir nice and tasteful so i'll be using that lots and then i only got one other thing at the gift shop um the children got quite a bit yeah, i checked the children to a few bits um they got more than me but i only got two things for myself and then also because i do a lot of reading i got a new york bookmark which i thought was nice because when i'm reading my book i can look at this and it will bring back all their memories um so yeah obviously it's the skyline in a really nice um nice color so it's one of their magnetic um bookmarks that goes over the page so yeah they were my two things that i got from the new york gift shop not at all tacky tasteful nice okay next shot what should we do next should we do urban outfitters didn't realize until a day or so into the holiday that um our hotel was literally so close to the biggest urban outfitters i've ever seen it was massive um they even had like a cafe in there it was really nice um where urban outfitters is concerned it's not so much the clothes for me whereas at one time of day it used to be um but i do feel now the clothes are more geared towards 
the younger generation but i absolutely still love their homeware they do some really nice homeware so went into urban outfitters but actually i picked up one thing i picked up one thing i was very aware of um the weight situation with the case i knew we were going to go to bath and body works um and we literally took we took an empty case we checked in literally an empty case that just had our scarves and hats in um and that case was just for shopping there were other things in there that i really liked but probably might have been too heavy or whatever that i could always get online here anyway but i did get this it is like a sage green um candle holder basically i really liked that and that is for in here um because i have the touches of green i've got the green duvet cover etc so i need to get like a natural color um dinner candle to go in there but i did really like that um you don't always you see lots of these about but not always this particular color so i got that from urban outfitters so really pleased with that next we'll do sephora um so we went into sephora um anna really wanted to go in she wanted to have a good stock up and sephora isn't really one of them shops that to be honest that i don't think i've ever shopped at sephora i don't think it's been one of them shops that i've actually thought oh i'll have a look in sephora but obviously we went in with anna so i thought well i'll have a look around while i'm there and there's just so much stuff isn't there um you know it was quite overwhelming just how much makeup and everything there was um but i was very good and i stuck to a couple of things that i knew were running out in my makeup and that i would need so in sephora my little bag <laughs> i got the first one is the charlotte tilbury the feline flick um, obviously um, quick fine line um, pen so I always put a thin line of black um, liner across my um, top lashes I'm using at the moment I believe it's a Rimmel one which has nearly practically all gone so I've been dying to open this but I've saved it for the haul I guess I could have started on it I could have started on it and just shown you the box but yeah so apparently this is really good when when i told anna um i bought this she says oh yeah well i've got that or i've tried that it's really good so hopefully that will be good so um yeah thought i'd try that i love charlotte tilby makeup anyway so be interesting to see how that is and then the only other thing i got there because my mascara is running out i'm currently using the mac stack um haven't got loads left so i got the lancome um lash idol lash idol lash lifting volumizing mascara um that was at the till they have like um as you're going towards the checkout they have loads of other bits all the way around don't they to tempt you um it says on here 94 percent instant volume 95 percent say instant lift 95 percent say fanned out lashes and 90 percent say clump free lashes so that sounds good to me so they were the two things i got in sephora um i could have got a lot more but i, I was good I was very good okay next target target love me some target obviously there's the bag I'll show you the food bits i got first from target um because i do love some american um confectionery now i did get a box of swedish fish um which are obviously like a gummy chewy sweet that they do in america and they're all gone um i ate them while we were there i couldn't resist them so i'll show you the other things what um I have started on these, but I have got a few left. So I got these um, miniature Kit Kats, um, milk chocolate, um, but they do taste different to um, English Kit Kat. But um, later on, I did see them in um, Hershey's World also. So I'm presuming that Hershey's or the company that owns Hershey's have bought the rights to use the Kit Kat name, I think um let me know in the comments it's quite interesting because they taste different so they're obviously not made by um nestle um but i'm presuming they bought the rights to use the name um but they taste they do taste different but they are they are really nice so you can see i bet quite a few <laughs> i started on these when we were there so they're just like the miniature little miniature Kit Kats. Next food thing, are uh, one of my favourite things, um, when I go to America, I always get these. And then before I'd ever been, um, when Anna used to go, she always used to bring me some back. They are the goldfish. Classic, classic American thing. And in Target, they had a great big range of just different type of um, goldfish. In actual fact, I got the standard 
I got the standard ones, which I like. And then Atticus chose the Star Wars goldfish. Um, so, yeah, really, they're tasty. They're like little cheese nibbles. Um, really, really like them. So they're, in a, they're an American classic, aren't they? Um, next, I got... Now, I hadn't tried these before. Um, let me know in the comments if you have. Um, they look like they're the American version of Maltesers. So Whoppers, I mean, the bag's a bit crushed. We had to stuff the shopping suitcase in the end. There was so much shopping. Um, but yeah, it looks to me like they're the um, American version of Maltesers. Whoppers, the original malted milk balls, which is what Maltesers are. So I thought I would try them. And then the last food thing, I was looking at these and Anna said to me, Mum, they're really nice, you'll like them. So I got them. Milk, duts, um, candy made with chocolate and caramel. Um, so I will be starting on them soon also. So they are like the snacky things I got from Target. I had like a tech section. Um, so I got another um, Apple Watch strap. So this one is navy, which I haven't got, um, with a touch of rose gold there. So I got that. I also got a AirPod case. Um, I was really excited to see this. There's a reason for that. Um, obviously you can buy AirPod cases in this country, but it's not very often you find the AirPod cases in the shops for the generation three. Um, I'm talking about in places like H&M or in Typo or whatever. They're normally always for like the first or second generation or then go to the pro ones. So it's not often you see these. I was quite excited so I thought I'm going to get that. So yeah, these fit the AirPods Generation 3. Um, really like that. That's actually the same colour as um, the watch strap with the touch of rose gold. So I got them. And I got a car charger. The reason being... Um, because I did order one before um, we went away and it turned out I'd ordered the wrong, um, the USB port was too big for my iPhone basically and um, I do need a car charger for when we go on longer journeys, when we go away, um, especially when we drive up to Manchester and that, the um, Google Maps just swallows up the... Um, the battery when it's on constantly so i got a car charger um, which is the correct um size usb and i got the cable also to go with it so pleased with them so that was target i have saved what i think is the best till last we have bath and body works now i didn't go crazy I didn't go, I mean these are heavy actually these are really heavy bags um i didn't go crazy um, I didn't go crazy on the candles. I could have. I didn't. And that was because I really didn't need them. Um, I'd bought some candles before I went away. And also as well, I do have to say, when um, I bought quite a few Christmas Bath and Body Works candles from Next, and I was quite shocked by how quick they burn. They burn so, so quick. And it's sort of like not put me off exactly but I guess it did I guess it did like put me off slightly the smells I absolutely love but you want to get a bit more value for your money and they do burn down awfully quick so I got one candle um and I got this one it's a new scent out I believe I absolutely love the smell so I thought yeah I'm gonna go for this one um and this is fresh sheets that lovely fresh smell um we've had all the christmasy smells we've had you know you just want fresh smells now and this smells divine it literally smells like just fresh washing but better <laughs> stronger i know that's gonna have i know the scents are just amazing and such a strong smell i'm just gonna not burn this quite as often keep it going for as long as possible um really like the packaging on that as well nice and simple um i presume this is a new scent i mean obviously we get a lot of our bath and body work stuff um from next because that is the only place in the uk that sell it and but the thing is they don't obviously stock all of the scents so going to the bath and body works in actual america it's a different experience completely because obviously they've got the whole range um so that was the one candle that i got really nice 
the next thing hand washes now hand washes she told us as soon as we went in and um, they were on a special deal i think they were like three um 49 which for a hand wash bath and body works which probably works out i could be wrong i don't know the current exchange rate but i think that probably works out about two two pounds two pounds something like that and at next i've paid probably is it nine or ten pounds for one hand wash so i did stock up on them so i got four i believe hand washes um and i haven't seen these bottles before either which um i think these are quite new i don't know so i've got these two really like the bottles um with these so the sage green one which is going to go in the ensuite obviously um is garden basil and lime which smells divine they all do then this one white t-shirt a very clean um very clean smell um really really nice so got them two and like i say really love the bottles they had like eight or nine different scents in these type of bottles nice and simple and then i got these two in this type of style so i got endless weekend in that one and then i got sweet sandalwood in that one so they will keep me going for quite a while um next thing car um car air fresheners I've never had a car air freshener from Bath and Body Works. And I saw this and I thought, yep, yeah, going to try them. So I got the holder, which obviously will just clip onto one of the vents. And it was a special offer. It was only three um, cents for $11, I think. So I got, so obviously you'll just um, take the wrapping off. Obviously they will just fit into the holder. So I got, this one is Endless Weekend, which is the same scent as one of the hand soaps. I got um, Deep Blue Sea. See, I'm going for all the fresh smells. And then this one, Renew and Refresh. Excited to put one of them in the car, see what they smell like. I've, I've got a feeling they're gonna be really good, really strong scent, because I don't know about you, I really struggle with car air freshness to keep that scent going. Um, next one hand cream like I needed more hand cream couldn't resist this one as I've mentioned I suffer from very dry hands um so this one dry hand relief um hydrating hand cream so that'll just be handy nice size to keep in my bag um shower gels there was a good offer on so it was either on any toiletries um it was either buy um three get three free I think I'm saying this right or buy two get one free um i have so many toiletries and stuff so i just didn't want to buy for the sake of it um so i got the offer that was buy two get one free again hadn't seen these shower gels but then i guess i wouldn't would i because it's it's the whole range i only ever see the next of in bath and body works um but i don't remember seeing these last time either when we went to bath and body works in um florida so i think these could be a new range in so i got three of these shower gels the first one sage and cedar wood body wash i think it's their new like aroma range so got that one that is called fresh start which i thought would be nice in the mornings then this one uplifting boost neroli blossom and bergamo so got that one and then this one breathe deep eucalyptus and lavender so they smell absolutely gorgeous, so got them. And then, what have we got here? It was, I got Atticus some of these, even though, bless him, he did, um, he wanted to spend some of his own money in there as well, and he got himself, um, I think he got himself eight um, pocket bags with a little holder as well. Um, but I did get, I think he's got a couple in this selection also, but these are for Atticus. These were good for when we go on holidays, um, they're a nice size to take in his toiletry bag. So these are men's collection, three in one hair, face and body wash. So I've got him two of the um, ocean scent, which he absolutely loves. And then I got two of the graphite um, scents as well, really handy sizes. And the great thing as well, you haven't got to take a separate shampoo for him because it's a hair and body wash in one. So I got him four of them obviously they'll be good for like the rest of the year when we go away and then i got one two three four i've got six pocket bags here i think the offer i can't quite remember but i think the offer was i think the offer was five for eight dollars 
and then there was a certain one that was literally knocked down to like 70 odd cent or something like that um i can't remember so i got beautiful day which is a lovely scent that's quite a classic bath and body work scent i think i got eucalyptus and spearmint i got crisp morning air which again is another bath and body works classic i got coconut sandalwood graphite graphite yeah this one again atticus chose this because i think if i remember correctly i said to atticus when i was choosing some come and choose a couple um and then it was after that he decided he was also going to buy a load as well so he chose that one which is the same scent as one of his body washes and i think he chose another one of these eucalyptus and spearmint because it is a really nice fresh smell to have on your hands and that is everything I purchased from America. Like I say, it wasn't like a shopping trip, you know. Um, it was a, you know, holiday seeing things. Um, but we did, you know, pick up a few bits here and there and really, really pleased with what I got. It's nice to get some things that, you know, you can't get in this country. So, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon for another video. Bye.